Welcome to Maths Companion. Let us recall what we have learned in the last video. The angle made by any arc of a circle on the alternate arc is half its central angle. All angles made by an arc on the alternate arc are equal and a pair of angles on alternate arcs are supplementary. Now let us check the homeworks. First problem. In triangle ABC and triangle PQR, BC equal to QR, angle A equal to angle P, angle Q equal to 90 degree, QR equal to 5 cm, PQ equal to 12 cm. Find the diameter of the circumcircle of triangle ABC. Let us look at the figure at first. Here, triangle PQR is a right angle triangle and PR is the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle. Let us first find the hypotenuse PR. We know hypotenuse square is base square plus altitude square or PR equal to root of PQ square plus QR square or PR equal to root of 5 square plus 12 square. That is equal to root of 25 plus 144 and that is equal to root of 169 and we know root of 169 is 13. Therefore, the length of PR is 13 centimeters. Now we have seen that triangle PQR is a right angle triangle. Therefore, the circumcenter of this triangle is the midpoint of PR or PR is the diameter of the circumcircle of triangle PQR. Therefore, we can say the diameter of the circumcircle of triangle PQR equal to 13 cm. But we are asked to find the diameter of the circumcircle of triangle ABC. Now look at triangle ABC and triangle PQR. It is given that BC and QR are equal and angle A and angle P are equal. That means when we place this triangle on triangle PQR in such a way that BC is on QR, the two sides BC and QR match exactly. And since these angles are equal, they are on the same arc. These are our triangles, triangle PQR and triangle ABC. Now let me draw the circumcircle of triangle PQR. Now we have seen that BC and QR are equal. So I can place this triangle on this triangle in such a way that BC is on QR. Let us place it. See BC is on QR now. Since they are equal, BC and QR matches exactly. And look at angle A and angle P. They are equal. Therefore, they are on the same arc. That means the circumcircle of both these triangles are same or the diameter of the circumcircle of triangle ABC is equal to the diameter of the circumcircle of triangle PQR. That means the diameter of the circumcircle of triangle ABC is 13 centimeters. Second problem, PQ and RS are two mutually perpendicular chords of a circle. Angle QPR equal to 50 degree. Find angle PQS. Let us look at the figure. Given that PQ and RS are perpendicular, let the intersecting point be T. Now given that angle QPR equal to 50 degree. Since PQ and RS are perpendicular, angle PTR equal to 90 degree. 
Look at triangle PTR. Two angles are known. What is the third angle R? We know sum of all the three angles is 180 degree. Since this angle is 90, sum of these two angles is 90. This angle is 50, therefore angle R equal to 40 degree. Now look at these two angles. Both these angles start from P and ends at S and they are on the same arc. Therefore, they are angles made by this arc on its alternate arc. And we know angles made by an arc on its alternate arc are equal. Therefore, these two angles are equal. That means angle PQS is also equal to 40 degree. Today, let us learn some applications of what we have learned in the last video. Suppose we have to draw an angle of 22 and a half degree. How can we draw it? We know it is not possible to draw it using a protractor. In 8th standard, we have learned that by drawing an angle of 45 degree and by drawing its bisector, we can make an angle of 22 and a half degree. Here, we are doing it in a different way. We have seen that the angle made by any arc of a circle on the alternate arc is half its central angle. Angle APB is the angle made by this arc on its alternate arc and angle AOB is its central angle. Therefore, this angle is half of angle AOB. Now suppose angle AOB is 45 degree. Then what is angle APB? It is half of it or 22 and a half degree. Using this idea, we can make an angle of 22 and a half degree. Let us see how to do it. Let us draw an angle of 45 degree at first. Now put the compass at A and draw a circle. You can take any radius. Mark the points of intersection of this circle with the sides of the angle. Now join these points P and Q to a point on the large arc. Consider the small arc PQ. PRQ is the angle made by the small r PQ and PAQ is its central angle. Therefore, angle PRQ is half of 45 or 22 and a half degree. Next question, draw an angle of 11 and 1 by 4 degree. Can you draw this angle using protractor? No, then double it you will get 22 and half degree. Can you draw it using protractor? Again, no. Double it again, you will get 45 degree. And we can draw an angle of 45 degree using protractor. So first of all, we can draw an angle of 45 degree and doing as we have done earlier two times, we will get an angle of 11 and 1 by 4 degree. Let us see how to do it. First of all, let us draw an angle of 45 degree. Now put the compass at A and draw a circle. You can take any radius. Mark the points of intersection 
of this circle with the sides of the angle. Let it be C and D. Join C and D to a point on the large arc. Let it be E. Then angle E equal to 22 and half degree. Now draw a circle with the center E. You can take any radius. Here I have taken the same radius. That is why it passes through A. Mark the points of intersection. Let it be A and C. Join A and G to a point H on the new circle. The angle at H is 11, 1 by 4 degree. Next problem. Draw a triangle of angles 30 degree, 70 degree, 80 degree and of circumradius 2.5 centimeters. Here, three angles and circumradius are given. We need to draw a triangle like this. Angle A is 70 degree, angle B is 80 degree and angle C is 30 degree and the circumradius is 2.5 centimeters. How can we draw this triangle? First of all, we have to draw a circle of radius 2.5 centimeters. Then what will we do? Suppose we are going to draw AC. How can we draw AC? We don't know the length of AC. It can be here, it can be here or it can be like this. How can we draw AC then? Somehow if you are managed to draw AC, you have to take 30 degree at C and 70 degree at A. These two lines intersect at B. Will it be on the circle? We are not sure. Sometimes it may be outside the circle, sometimes it may be inside the circle. That means using these measurements directly, we cannot draw this figure. To draw this triangle ABC, we need to locate the vertices A, B and C. Look at angle C, that is 30 degree. It is the angle made by this arc BA on its alternate arc. Therefore, it is half its central angle, which is the central angle of arc BA. To get the central angle of arc BA, A and B should be joined to the center O, like this. Now, since angle C is 30 degree, this angle, angle AOB equal to 60 degree. Just like this, angle A equal to 70 degree. It is the angle made by arc BC on its alternate arc. So it is half its central angle, which is the central angle of arc BC. To get it, we have to join B and C to the center O. Since angle A is 70 degree, this angle is 140 degree. Now the third angle AOC is 160 degree because sum of all these three angles is 360 degree. Now to get the vertex A, we can draw the radius OA. We can draw it anywhere. Taking 60 degree, we can draw the second radius. We will get the second vertex B. Now taking 140 degree, we can draw the third radius. We will get the third vertex C. Now to draw the triangle, it is enough to join A to B, B to C and C to A. Let us draw the triangle now.
Today we have learned how to have an angle and how to draw a triangle when the three angles and circumradius are given. Now there are two homeworks. First one, construct an angle 22 and a half degree without using a protractor. Second problem, O is the center of the circle. If angle BOC equal to 130 degree and angle AOB equal to 110 degree, what is angle AOC? Find all angles of triangle ABC. How is my sound quality? Is it clear or is there any disturbances? Comment your opinions to me so that I can make some modification. I will be back with the remaining part. Till then, bye.